Welcome to the new episode of Lucy's Arcane Vault. In today's episode I am going to sew three Betty dresses. So as soon as I saw the charm patterns published, this Betty dress pattern, I was thrilled. I had to have several of these dresses. So this is how I cut my fabric on my cutting table with Dottie's assistance. She always likes to supervise. So I'm pinning the pattern pieces, here I have cut it out and I'm marking the darts and cutting notches and anything that needs to be marked. under Rosemary's supervision. And there are my front and backs. So I have quite a few taffeta fabrics in my stash which I originally thought I would use them for Victorian gowns but since then I prefer to sew those in silk fabrics so these taffetas have been waiting in my stash for the right project. And this is just it. And here I'm cutting the taffeta fabric. And these are the bow pieces and cummerband and pockets. And you can see that I have lengthened the cummerband pieces a bit because I am tall, I have longer torso. I have lengthened bodies pieces as well. And Hecate came to say hello. This fabric is silk and these are pencil skirt pieces for second dress. So I am being careful not to cut near her. I always put my hand in front of the scissors. And these are all the pieces for three dresses. I had to cut 13 fabrics. 
here is my Victorian thread catcher that I use for any thread snips so that they are not on the floor. It's safer for cats that way. And here I'm serging the edges of the silk fabric. It does have embroidery, so I have to remove the beading and any protruding objects. And here I am flatlining the third dress, so the lace is being flatlined over a pink viscose fabric. And basting the two layers together so they will be treated as one. And Juniper came to say hello. Here I'm pinning the darts on some black fabric. So my cats are allowed into my sewing room, but I never leave pins or anything dangerous lying around. I always put all my pincushions away if I leave the room and the threads go straight into the thread catcher. Uh, all my machines are always covered so there are no threads exposed there either. Here I'm sewing the darts on my vintage Singer sewing machine. This one is from the 60s. I think it was 64. I have several machines and each is threaded with different color thread. So this enables me to sew several projects at a time without changing the thread constantly. And this is my favorite machine, it's Singer 201K from 1936. And here I'm checking the darts, that they are the same length. If there is any difference, I will unpink a stitch and then I will Pull the thread on the other side and tie it with several knots. Here I'm pressing the darts over Taylor's ham. It's easier to do it this way over a 3D object as the body is 3D as well. I have sewn all the darts of all three dresses at once, pressed them all at once, so it was quite a um, dart fall. <laughs> and Dotty, a big help. Rosemary is creeping down there. Now I'm pinning the peplum to bodies, pieces, yes. Girls are checking the quality of the work. And 
sewing the peplums onto the bodice pieces. shoulder seams Here I'm grading the seam allowances and clipping the curves. And here I'm sewing some gathering stitches onto black cummerbund. So this is a thick duchess satin or satin, polyester satin and it uh, wasn't the best choice of fabric for this as I learned later nevertheless it looks good but in the future I would recommend or choose taffeta something much much thinner it is easier to gather thinner fabric and it lays smoother Here I'm gathering other cummerbunds. So I tie a knot on one side and then pull the threads, the bottom threads, bobbin threads on the other. And here I am basting the cummerbunds onto the bodies. It goes over peplum piece and the top for this part. All the edges except the top of the kamaband are being basted. And here I'm sewing the lining into neckline. And then I'm grading the seam allowances and I've clipped the curves. And now I'm under stitching it. This helps to lay it smoothly. And now I'm turning the lining and bodies inside out. This is quite a clever way to do a sleeveless bodice so all the edges are neat uh, the side seam cannot be sewn before you turn it that's a good thing to remember now I'm pinning the side seam And sewing the side seam first, the lining part and then the bodice part, the main fabric. And now the peplum part. I actually made four petty dresses. And here is the first one made in this embroidered taffeta. And Juniper has a thing or two to say about it. So unfortunately the first Betty dress came a teeny tiny bit too tight. But I fixed it for the next three dresses. Thank you. 
and here I'm sewing the lace sleeves. They are the long bishop sleeves and I'm using French theme method. It's way neater in that way. And here I have to gather the sleeve into the cuff and you can see it's quite a small cuff and because it is lace I don't gather it on a machine I prefer to hand gather so I have a special basting thread that is very easy to remove away Then I have pinned it into the cuff and now I'm very carefully sewing it. Removing the pins as I go. And black fabric so you cannot see anything but I am pulling the cuff out and then I'm going to fold it twice to enclose the stitching. carefully sewing it without pins aligning the fabric to lay, sm lay smoothly and now it's time to attach the sleeve into the bodies so the sleeve is unlined I'm aligning the side seam of the bodice with sleeve seam and then pinning all around. And this sleeve is a perfect fit. I didn't have to do any gathering stitches on top. And sewing the sleeve into the bodies. Pressing the seam allowances into the wrong side into the bodice over this very handy dandy sleeve board and stitching hand stitching the lining so now all the raw edges are enclosed And this is Sage, our youngest kitty cat. She's two years old, still a baby. And there's her favorite toy. She 
she is lilac point Siamese. Rather rare color. And here I'm pinning the bow pieces in strategic places. Grading the seam allowances and clipping the corners, clipping the curves, and notching as well. And then I use a thick knitting needle to turn the bow inside out. And here is the bow assembly. So the middle seam is being gathered. And there's my finished bow. Now it's time to attach the pockets on side seams of the bubble skirt. Also the bow needs to be attached to the center back seam. I will baste it in place and then I can pin the side seams together and the center back seam Here I'm sewing some gathering stitches on the top of the skirt 
and gathering it. Checking the measurements. So on the bigger cutting board I have centimeters and on the smaller one I have inches. I am used to work with centimeters as European of course, but I do use inches sometimes if a pattern requires it. Here I'm pinning the skirt into the bodice aligning the side seams and everything and here I'm sewing it and now it's time to pin the tulle I have sewn gathering stitches onto the tulle and skirt hem and now I'm gathering it to fit the lining, skirt lining. And then I'll sew it and when it will be turned inside out the tulle will stay inside. Here I'm pinning the lining of the skirt into the bodice waistband or waist, waist seam. Here you can see the tulle is being encased in between the outer fabric and the lining. Now it's time for the pencil skirt bent. I have marked it on the left side of the back and cut it off with serger. And then I did stitch this diagonal line. So I'm pinning the lining into the skirt and stitching it. And again pinning the skirt into the bodice. This is the second dress made of silk and the silk fabric is a remnant from this natural form polonaise I made several years ago. So it's nice to get finally some use of it. Here I'm sewing the bodice into the skirt and now it's time for the zipper. So I have pressed this right side 1.3 centimeters, the seam allowance. And when I 
get to this cummerbund it has a lot of fabric and ruching so I am pressing it and pulling it out of the zipper's way so that it is as straight edge as possible and luckily this taffeta is thin and it's fairly easy to do pulling it a little bit with my nail So this is going to be a lapped zipper. I always used use lap zippers. It's my preferred method. The concealed zippers don't last as long. Here's the first dress, second dress. And the third So I'm always stitching with the appropriate color, firstly with black here, and then I continue with pink. And then the other side. So first I'm aligning the top edge of the cummerbund and the outer edge is supposed to cover your stitching from the other side. So hence the lapped zipper name. And this side is pressed 1.5 centimeters under And again sewing first with black thread and continuing with pink. And here I'm hemming the third dress, the lace dress. I just turn the hem under. It's a pity fabric, so it's appropriate. And this one is the silk one. I'm using a special overcast uh, presser foot with appropriate stitch. So it is stitching mainly on the bottom fabric straight, and then every now and then it makes a zigzag onto the other layer of the fabric and the result will be that it resembles as if it were a hand stitched hem.
And here is the first finished dress. So the black fabric is a black jacquard and the pink fabric is pink taffeta. This is the sleeveless dress with bubble skirt. I'm very pleased with how this one turned out. It fits perfectly. It's a little bit looser than the others. It's just a good example that how the fabric choice can affect the fit. And the second dress, this one is a totally shameless copy of Gertie's dress. I had to have it. It's my favorite fabric combo. Black lace over blush fabric. It's absolutely me. So the only thing I regret is the choice of fabric for cummerband. It is this thick duchess satin and it does pull the zipper a bit and as a result also this dress is a little bit tighter and rosemary came to say hello so the sleeves have the scallop edge and they are attached at two points with pearl beads And the third dress, this is the silk fabric with taffeta cummerband. It's embroidered silk. And my surprise fourth dress, which is actually the first one I made. And you can see that the uh, dress is slightly too tight. It pulls the zipper a little bit. Nevertheless, it the zipper can be closed. So that's good. But I had to adjust that for other dresses. Otherwise, it fits okay. So it's this embroidered taffeta fabric with taffeta cummerbund.
Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future episodes. Take care and blessed be.